Hello, this is Michael with Terry Hendricks out in Archibald, Ohio. I'm here in the 2020 Grand Cherokee doing a brief how-to video on how to be able to operate your new adaptive cruise. This vehicle is equipped with the Advanced Safety Tech Group, uh, which has the forward collision detection, forward pump, uh, the bumper safety sensors there, the proximity sensors, and then that uh, distance pacing cruise control option, which is the adaptive cruise. Now I'm going to show you this, I apologize, it's on my cell phone here, but I figured this point of view would be great in order to be able to show you how this all operates here. So on your steering wheel, you've got the adaptive cruise controls here just below your standard cruise controls. So you're going to be utilizing both of these uh, in order to be able to get started. Now I'm looking at the dash here, when you hit the adaptive cruise it shows you ACC ready. That only flashes up briefly, but you can see down here that you've got the symbol, the adaptive cruise is active. There's three bars there, and that is indicated uh, what kind of distance you can work with. Uh, now that's the setting that it's currently at. So you have a button here next to the on and off for the adaptive cruise. This with two arrows coming together is to shorten the distance between the vehicle in front of you and the front of your vehicle. This is to be able to lengthen that distance. So that way the sensor on the front of the bumper knows and from looking at it and this, uh, how close you need to be to the vehicle. So you can see that that line goes all the way up to four. Now I'm going to turn this off and on again so you can see the adjustment here goes down and then up as you change the distance. So I'm going to keep it at the farthest distance on the front of the vehicle. So this system actually can be utilized in town. It is designed in order to be able to uh, pace the vehicle in front of you uh, while keeping that cruise active and it will adjust that speed so you're not constantly having to turn your cruise control off or on uh, in order to be able to adjust for a person that's in front of you that doesn't keep the same consistent speed. It makes it a little bit easier in order to be able to not have to do that all the time. Um, now again, I, it will work in town like I mentioned uh, to a full and complete stop. So I'm going to go out into Archibald, Ohio here. It's not a hugely busy town, um, but I'm going to try and utilize this system and show you exactly what you can expect. Um, the first time that you do this might be a little bit nerve wracking because you know, you're relying on a computer system in order to be able to stop a vehicle and to pre prevent an accident. I am one of those kind of people that likes to stay in control uh, when I drive. So. If you know of anybody like that then that will give you a clear indication as to where I'm coming from but I'm gonna pull out into town here and see if I can get a good example for you I'm gonna pause the video real quick all right so pulling out here I'm gonna be heading up behind a semi uh, in order to turn on your adaptive cruise you're going to want to have one that active uh, button that I just pushed in order to be able to turn the system on and then the uh, standard cruise control button you'll want to hit set so I'm going to hit that now. Oops, indicated on, and then set. So it's set to 31 mile an hour, and you can actually tune the speed up by pressing the positive and then a negative to take the speed down. So I'm going to turn it up to, let's go 40. So as you can see, there's a little car in front of me here. That adaptive cruise is set. You can see that is indicated on the dash that it is set at 40 but it's pacing the vehicle in front of me already and it is slowing down to 33 in order to be able to match that vehicle's speed in front of me. The cruise is set to 40 and once this car in front of me goes faster than 40, the cruise will maintain at that 40 mile an hour. So again, in order to be able to operate this adaptive cruise on and then you can use either one of these set buttons and you can adjust the speed up with the positive or the negative. So here we coming up to a little bit of slower traffic. It's down to 26 mile an hour and again it is keeping that distance. I've got four bars worth of space in front of me and you can see that's about a good car length ahead. Again, I apologize for the point of view on this. It's a little rough cut, but quite frankly, I figured this would be the best option to be able to show you. Now, and here we come to a complete stop. So this is gonna come to a complete stop. My foot is not on the brake. ACC may cancel soon to prepare brake. 
So with that, you want to make sure that when, it, when you stop, come to a complete stop, you have your foot ready to be able to put on the brake, and the system will shut itself off. So you want to make sure you're ready, but it will come to a complete stop in order to prevent you from hitting the vehicle in front of you using that forward collision detection. So back to my driving now. So uh, just to keep my eyes on the road, I apologize I'm not looking at you here, but just want to make sure I give you a quick heads up. That is how you operate your adaptive cruise. Make sure you have your details on that prepared. Have the distance set the way you want it to have it set. You can get out on the road, turn the system on, and just drive. See, make sure that it doesn't uh, doesn't hit anything. That's that's the adaptive cruise. One quick tip: I have uh, heard reports from some of my customers that have utilized this system on a multi-lane highway. And when somebody, if they decide to be rude, uh, <laughs> to come off of the on-ramp and go very fast in between you and the vehicle in front of you while you have this adaptive cruise system on, it will do what it's supposed to do and it will try to stop you as quickly as possible as it realizes there's an object now in front of you suddenly. Somebody pulls in front of you or if they cut over several lanes and cut in front of you, which Anybody that lives in the city probably knows that happens often. I would not necessarily recommend, unless you've got a lighter amount of traffic, to use this adaptive cruise system on a highway that is very busy. So just as a quick tip, you don't want to get rear-ended, you don't want to get uh, uh, hit by anybody with this system doing what it's supposed to do and then having a shock of something in front of it and trying to stop you. So just as a quick tip. So. User-friendly uh, system. Just make sure you're using the right circumstances, I suppose. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Sorry I got a little long-winded there, but uh, trying to do a real-life scenario here for you on the adaptive cruise system on your FCA vehicle. Thank you so much for checking out my video.